And after that attempted assassination on former President Trump, eyes all over the world have shifted to the United States. Here in Erie, we are getting reaction from local political leaders who weigh in on the historic situation. Matt Mathias is in our studio with more tonight. Matt. And that's right, Sean and Jen. After what transpired in Butler this weekend, practically everyone is watching to see how both campaigns will move forward from here. The country is reeling after former President Donald Trump was shot at during a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Well, the fact that he survived that and this attempt was made um, makes people really anxious to make sure that they get out and work for him and get him into the uh, Oval Office. Eddie is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin right now for the Republican National Convention. Eddie and other Republicans are saying rhetoric used by Democrats instigated this incident. You, know, you just can't keep calling a person, you know, an existential threat to the country and not expect someone somewhere to think that maybe I can do some good by getting rid of them. So it was a terrible, tragic thing for this country. Meanwhile, local Democrats dismiss that claim and say this is no time to play the blame game. Political rhetoric and differences of opinion is a good thing, and, and that's what our system is all about. And we need to t we need to tell the truth about how we view the race. Tallarico believes this was a troubled person who shouldn't have had access to a gun, but they're not changing how they view their Republican opponent. I think the race will boil down to a clear choice between two candidates. Um, the Trump agenda, Project 2025, is very extreme, and uh, Democrats have been saying, rightfully so, that this is a threat to our democracy, and uh, we will be continuing to say that. People are worried, I think, all across the country is, how will this affect him? And I think he, he's, he needs to be able to show the people that he can still move through with this thing and be the same person he was before. And again, Eddie says he expects Trump to speak tonight at the RNC. Jen. In our studio, thank you, Matt. And for all your election news, turn to your local election headquarters on air and online at yourerie.com.